Good evening folks, welcome to another episode of Hayden Me Grilling. Now tonight we're gonna stay right here in the kitchen for another simple one pot beef and skillet meal. What's up folks, this is really good, it looks really good rather. Uh, so I'm excited to get started, so let's get after it. Now folks, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping things before I actually get into the cooking. All right, makes it a lot easier down the road, but in this bowl here, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, just dump that in there. Now the recipe I found called for an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, but come on, man, that ain't much garlic powder. So I'm going with a teaspoon of garlic powder. <laughs> that might be a mistake, but that's what we're going with. Next, we're gonna go ahead and prep us two cups of instant brown rice. Now we're gonna take a red and a green bell pepper. And we're just gonna cut these into thin little strips. About like that or so. All right, folks, so once again, we got us a pound of ground beef from Huffman Farms, folks really liking their ground beef and their beef products in general. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our burner onto a medium heat. All right, folks, so we just drained the grease off of our ground beef. Now, what we're gonna add in here is we're gonna add that one can of Rotel, undrained, followed by 14 ounces of beef broth. Just pour that in. All right, folks, we forgot one thing. Those uh, seasonings that we Put in the little bowl, all right, the chili powder, the garlic, and the salt. Add those in, sorry, uh, and stir this, these contents around, get those ingredients nice and mixed in. And again, we're just waiting for this to come to a nice boil. All right, so now that we've got it coming to a pretty good boil, we're gonna take those peppers, we're gonna add them into the, the skillet, followed by two cups worth of that instant brown rice. Remember brown rice. Heck, I guess you could use the white rice, but it called for instant brown rice. And once we got those added in there, we're just gonna stir these around, get this nice and mixed in together. Now we got this nice and mixed in together, we're gonna reduce this to a simmer, and then we're gonna put the lid on it for eight to 10 minutes, or until the moisture is absorbed. All right, folks, so the moisture in this has cooked down. It took us more along about 11 minutes to get to that point. But now we're gonna remove this from the heat. And we're gonna sprinkle in uh, some Colby Jack, about a cup of Colby Jack into the skillet. Just kind of spread it all throughout. There we go. You're just gonna spread it all throughout, about like so. And you're gonna leave this off the heat, but you're gonna put the lid back on it until that cheese melts down. All right, folks, so I wasn't sure how this would work. No heat or anything, but look at that. Look at that beautifully melted cheese. All right, folks, here we go with that all-important taste test. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm Wow. Folks, that is a great little meal, great little one-pot meal. Very few ingredients, very quick. It took us less than uh, 45 minutes to make this meal. So, simple meal, very delicious, cheesy, the rice is cooked perfect. The peppers are nice and cooked. They're good and soft. Uh, folks, this is a great little meal. Uh, so y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please try this one. Put this one in your, your rotation on those crazy busy nights. So y'all please, as always, y'all like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.